Good everyone, I'm oh, this video. Today we have a Battle in the Talisman series, and today we're out in T50. Now this tank is one of my most recent Talismans, and, well, it's a lot of fun. I've always liked the T50, but obviously ever since I got the T126, this little guy's been parked for some time. Now obviously, the T126 is better in most areas than this tank. Excuse me, I just had a burp, come on then. Terribly sorry about that. Um... The T50 is obviously been replaced by the T126, for me at least. But now that I've got the talisman on it, this thing's a bloody double trouble, let's put it that way. Now, I don't really drive the T50. I don't remember the last time I did, but to be brutally honest, it's, it's more of a meme tank. I remember using this thing back in the days of arcade, when I used to play tank arcade. I'm glad I don't anymore, it's changed a lot. <laughs> Last time I played it, I was like, the hell? I'm, I'm completely confused by this. But um, the main differences between the T126 and the T50 is that the T50 trades armor for speed. This thing can go up to 40 miles an hour and weighs 5 tons less almost. Whilst the T126 takes up the armor package, but trades it for lack of speed, because obviously 22 miles an hour approximately. Well, I mean, if you push it down a cliff, it'll get to 22, but... Otherwise, it will sit at 21.9. But obviously, the T50 does have its benefits over the T126, and I'm sort of glad I do now have the talisman on it, thanks to Gaijin. I think I got it when I was... When when did I get it? Good question. I, I don't remember. But um, that that's the good thing. Like I've got plenty of talismans to keep me happy and everything. Obviously, with Gaijin keeping will keep on giving me talismans, this series feels like it's going to go on forever, because, well, Gaijin just apparently like my talisman series, and they give me good ones, unlike Harry. But, um, obviously, as you can tell by the lineup below, I've assembled the basic lineup, as I usually do. 72k Gaz, T80, the P40E, just to help out in Grand Force, and obviously with the eventually upcoming review of that, I hope it puts into context what that aircraft can do in ground forces if we have to use it. But um, looking at that waiting for battle, I think this is going to take a while, so I'll see you all in the first game. Well, you joined me in the first game, and in typical bloody fashion, it's on a map that I hate. Great. Harry actually likes this map, and well, it's personal preference, but I do not like this map. It is a horrible map. But with the T-50's mobility and the trollish armour, we might just get away with it. Let's hope, because I, I kind of need to hope. But, um, that, that's just a way to flip in matchmaker, as I guess they just know I hate this map, so they thought, well, Joe might be recording, that's why he's driving a Talisman T-50. So we'll give him a shit map, and well, I'm not going to give up that easily. So we're going to use the T-50 speed and get ourselves to the cat point. So we have more weight and less horsepower in terms of, well, we have more horsepower than the M22 Locust, but even so. And it looks like teammates are shooting at each other now. Don't know why. I have two coax machine guns, comrade. You, you do not have co Soviet comrade. You do not have Soviet comrade coax machine gun. Well, I'll at least get the cab, because then I can at least spawn in another vehicle later if I have to. I hear something, that's a car. I hear a car. Yeah, it was it was a friggin' squeezy boy. 
I just heard what sound like, you know when you just hear like an idling car engine, it just sounded like that. Oh good, that's friendly my fight. Something's over on this road. So you gotta give, have good taps. Oh no 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 no! That is a stir. Luckily, it's blind as a bat. I hear something else. Yep, over there. Go on, turret turn, turret turn. Shit. Got him. Hello, Locust. Oh my god, you're tryharding. Jesus. I think it's covered in bushes. Okay, let's get moving. So, I mean, the 45mm can still work at this BR, but against heavily armored opponents like the Stir, if you have the front of it to you, you're gonna need the APCR. Oh, nearly. The suspension's not liking the fact that Tokyo Drift in this thing. Team's doing okay so far. We're gonna make our way towards the B point now. I don't think I have a backup on this tank, so I just checked. I don't. The hell is that? No oh, it's the BMA. I guess you got a test drive for it for the for like an hour or so. If we'll just quickly nip across to the B point, we can at least lend our team a hand by flanking. Sorry, Locus. This thing doesn't exactly have mirrors, so I didn't exactly see you. I'd just be my look. Yep, right there. I can't That no, wasn't quick enough. I'm gonna have to check, get pursuit. This is Officer Joseph 2000. I am in pursuit of an, a stolen IKB 71 well, IKB. Suspect has shot. Shots fired. Shots fired. Fun fact, by the way, I did actually want to be a policeman at one point in my life, but... My eyesight? Nah. I just wasn't suited to it. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead, but is, is there someone at the end of the road? No, it's a bus. Yeah, I actually wanted to be a policeman at one point in my life, but I thought... The problem is, my eyesight's terrible, which you wouldn't believe it with my situational awareness in game, but my, my eyesight is actually quite bad when I don't wear glasses. I do wear them, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. What I'm saying is, like, um, my eyesight's just crap. Alright, well, since that way is their spawn and I don't want to be a spawn camper, I'm just going to make my way towards the C point. Yeah, um, I, I deemed my eyesight to be too terrible, plus I wasn't exactly the fittest, still I'm not, in terms of um, stamina and stuff, so I thought, oh, hang on. Hey! Let's today, you little shit. Hold on. Please don't be a stir, please don't be a stir, that's a stem event, eh? I'll take that. Oh, hello. Oh no, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. We're dead. Why did you not fire? Okay, I'll take it. Oh god, right there! Take cover! Uh, buddy, how did you fuck that one up? How did I fuck that one up? No, self, do not get arrogant. That's the hill. Thank you. 
I just want to go to the sea point. Let me go to the sea point and I'll leave you guys alone. Jesus. Okay, the A point's been capped actually. Jesus. They, they don't want me to leave. I don't want to sit near your spawn. Like, come on. I don't look like a tank there. I'm just going to keep on running. Well, now that. Well, then again, the, the new Fast and Furious game is total dog shit. It's like 50 quid for just a mobile game. Don't look it up. It, it's terrible. It's called Fast and Furious Crossroads. I looked at gameplay the other day, and I am not spending my money on that, even if I also get like 95% off. Just, just, no. I wouldn't even spend 5% of the game's cost at the moment on it. I'm really tempted, I know this sounds dumb to some of you, but I'm really tempted to follow the rules of the road. The problem is, I don't know which side the Swedes drive on. So, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused, like, do I drive on the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Oh, hello! Shut up! Thank you. Just scratch my paintwork, you little shit. I get the bad feeling he wasn't the only capper, but... Mm, I mean, we don't exactly need this cap, I'm just gonna decap it and leave it at that. Oh, okay, there is someone still on this cap. But where is he? Nope, someone just said no. Where are you? Oh, there you are! Obviously, I couldn't shoot because the game, for some reason, doesn't let you shoot after a couple of seconds when the game starts to end. Not a bad run in the T50. I do love running around those sorts of maps, just blazing away at everything. It seems Sweden is good for lighter vehicles, so I might just start playing it in the lighter vehicles, just not in the heavy tanks and the medium tanks, depending on the medium tank, of course. But I hope you enjoyed today's video on the T50 and the old Talisman series, and well, I'll see you all on the next one.